Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novel so that I can provide summary for it, now let's start with the summary. The characters in the novel are The themes of the novel are White Oleander by Janet Fitch tells the story of Astrid, a young girl navigating through foster care after her mother is imprisoned for murder. The novel explores Astrid's journey as she moves from one foster home to another, encountering different challenges and relationships along the way. Fitch's novel delves into themes of identity, love, and resilience. Through Astrid's experiences, readers see how she grapples with her sense of self while adapting to the various environments she finds herself in. The relationships she forms with her foster mothers, particularly with Claire, leave a lasting impact on her growth and understanding of the world. The white oleander flower serves as a recurring symbol throughout the novel, representing both beauty and danger. Just like the flower, Astrid learns to navigate the complexities of life, finding strength in the face of adversity. The story begins with Ingrid Magnusson, a charismatic and fiercely independent poet, who raises her daughter, Astrid, alone in Los Angeles. Ingrid is an enigmatic figure who values art and beauty above all else. Astrid idolizes her mother, but their relationship is complicated by Ingrid's intense personality and her disdain for conventional norms. When Ingrid's boyfriend, Barry, leaves her for another woman, Ingrid's world shatters. Consumed by jealousy and rage, she murders Barry with oleander poison, a flower symbolic of deceit and manipulation. Ingrid is arrested and sentenced to life in prison, leaving Astrid orphaned and alone. Astrid is placed into a series of foster homes, each one more unstable than the last. Her first foster mother, Star, is a religious fanatic who mistreats Astrid and forces her to attend church services. Despite the abuse, Astrid remains resilient, finding solace in her artwork and her memories of Ingrid. After Star's home becomes too dangerous, Astrid is sent to live with Claire Richards, a former actress turned eccentric artist. Claire is kind to Astrid, but she struggles with her own demons, including alcoholism and a tumultuous relationship with her boyfriend, Ron. Despite Claire's flaws, Astrid forms a deep bond with her, finding a maternal figure in the midst of chaos. As Astrid navigates the foster care system, she grapples with questions of identity and belonging. She struggles to reconcile her love for Ingrid with the reality of her crimes, questioning whether she is destined to follow in her mother's footsteps. Astrid also explores her budding sexuality, engaging in relationships with both men and women as she searches for connection and acceptance. Through her experiences, Astrid begins to understand the complexities of love and betrayal. She learns that relationships are not always black and white, and that people are capable of both great kindness and great cruelty. Despite the challenges she faces, Astrid remains determined to forge her own path and define herself on her own terms. As Astrid grows older, she yearns to reconnect with Ingrid, despite the pain and trauma of their past. With the help of her therapist, she begins to unravel the tangled emotions surrounding her mother's imprisonment, confronting the anger and resentment that have long simmered beneath the surface. Through a series of letters and visits, Astrid and Ingrid attempt to rebuild their relationship, grappling with the scars of their shared past. Despite the obstacles they face, they find solace in their shared love of art and poetry, forging a tentative bond that transcends the boundaries of their prison walls. As the novel reaches its climax, Astrid is faced with a choice that will determine the course of her future. Confronted with the opportunity to testify against Ingrid in court, she must decide whether to betray her mother in exchange for her own freedom. In the end, Astrid chooses to remain loyal to Ingrid, realizing that their bond is stronger than any legal obligation. As she watches her mother's sentencing, she comes to terms with the complexities of love and forgiveness, finding redemption in the act of standing by those she loves, no matter the cost. In the aftermath of Ingrid's trial, Astrid embarks on a journey of self-discovery, determined to forge a life of her own. With the support of Claire and her therapist, she begins to heal from the wounds of her past, 
finding strength in her resilience and determination. As Astrid looks to the future, she knows that the road ahead will not be easy, but she is ready to face whatever challenges come her way. With her mother's love guiding her, she sets out to build a new life, one filled with hope, possibility, and the promise of a brighter tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.